now. I'm going to start taking I know, notes. Absolutely. Start taking why do notes. you think? Why do you think baseball fans hate you? I don't have a pen. If I had a pen, I'd write that down. <laughs> I looked for a pen. I don't have a pen. I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought you always have a pen with you. I usually have a pen, but lately pens have been disappearing. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. We are now a company without pens. Someone's stealing your pens? Someone has been stealing my pens. Well, we know it's not Tierney because he hasn't been here in two weeks. Is it Tiki? No. Is it Lakata? I don't think so. He comes in now all the time. I don't I don't believe he's stealing my pens, though. I don't. Well, Steve and I know Summers a, doesn't work here correct, anymore. Correct. That would have been my first guess. Now, I'll tell you this. I know who it's not. Who is it not? I know it's not Boomer and Geo. Because they have no papers in front of them ever during an entire show. There's no notes. There's no jotting things down. There's no need for pens. So I know it's not them. I don't believe it's Tiki. I see him every day. He's not walking out with pens in his pocket. Plus, his pants are so tight. Right. If he was wearing a pen, I would either think he had the thinnest, longest penis in the world, or he was stealing my pens, but I would know it. Do you believe it's me? Interesting. Maybe this is your little way of, you know... Toying with me. What did I tell you yesterday? I told that you you're the rainbow cookie czar of no, Chicago. I told you something to get you off my tracks. What did you tell me? I told you about a gift that was made for me. Oh, I, yeah. Your son made you a, a Met theme pen. Oh. Yeah. All done on purpose to get you off the trail. Huh. It's me. Okay. Can you do me I've a favor? I've been taking every one of your damn pens because I'm very particular with my scorebook. And I want to make sure I have a lot of options. Huh. Yeah. So it's you. Okay. Well, I appreciate you telling me that. I always want to be honest Thank with you. Thank you. Evan's I been stealing my pen. Well, if you need a pen, there's one made out of the bench of of uh, Shea Stadium that we bought you for Christmas. That's like kind of in the corner of your office that never gets touched. Is that me? particular fancy yeah, pen? Yeah, it's a great. Okay. You I, got me a pen? No, I got you me. a pen. I got Evan a pen. So they got we, me. I shouldn't say I. Me and Tommy both Big got Mac a pen and for Christmas. Lugie got yeah. me this Made wonderful from the dugout bench of Shea Stadium. This is very uncomfortable, but I'm going to be honest. They got me this wonderful pen. It was you made out of the dugout of Shea Stadium. What if it was made in out? Of, oh, so the wood, the yeah. yes. exterior casing of the pen. I mean, right. like I got to tell you, pound for pound, when it comes to thought, one of the great gifts I've ever had. Do you, I've never seen you use it. Here's the problem. Not once. And no, no, no. Take it Herein back. Herein lies the problem. Yeah. When I took it, because I only use my pen for one thing, because I type everything else. I use my scorebook. When I took it out for my scorebook, it was a smudge. And I can't go with smudges. I'm a lefty, Big Mac. So great pen, great thought. It doesn't pass the test. What, the ink In smudges? Terms, because ink? Evan's hand, like the bottom of his, under his pinky, that side of his hand. Thank you, Craig. He's a lefty. I'm a lefty. When he starts writing beyond like the second or third oh. inning, the bottom of his hand touches ink from previous innings yeah. or the lineup itself, and apparently it smudges it. That's well, problem a number things. one. one I'm, I'm sorry, I should have ordered you a left handed pen. I was unaware. <laughs> yeah, much like a left handed bowling <laughs> yeah, I should have made sure we got left handed pens. Right. Yeah. Uh, and second of all, the pen is, you know, you unscrew it, you put in any kind of ink you want, you get a different kind is of Is that ink. true? Of course. Well, that doesn't fix the second problem. It's a reloadable pen. So the second problem, pen. Craig, is that it's slightly heavy. And it's when I'm heavy. writing, I like the lightest you possible. You have died after a day as a caveman. <laughs> the pen is slightly well, heavy. When I'm writing so carefully in my scorebook, yeah. I want to have the perfect amount of weight in my hand. <laughs> Can you imagine uh, Evan living with the Flintstones, and here comes the Brontosaurus burger, and he can't lift it to eat it, Listen, so he just gives up? I, I can't stress enough Big Mac, Loogie. It was such a thoughtful gift. It really means a lot to me. But yeah, okay. it's yeah. got some issues in Here's terms the deal of we learned about Evan. usage. What? Evan is a lousy gift receiver. He's very generous. With his gifts, yes. He's very generous. Yes. But in terms of receiving gifts <laughs> and showing the gift giver, like a level of appreciation that, oh, wow, you got me a dugout pen. I can't wait to use it. And maybe once in a while, even using it in front of you, the gift givers, mm -hmm. You just throw it in the corner. No, 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 no. Because it's, it's too heavy. Hold on. It's displayed. I'm not an animal. I know. In the corner of my office, much yeah. like the baseball you got me autographed by Howard Johnson, yeah. is displayed, it's not displayed in my replica polo grounds right in front of where I sit. Yeah. And if you watch the show on SNY, whenever the hell we're on today, you would see it and say, oh, he has prominently displayed the Howard Johnson autograph right in front of Tom Seaver, right in front of President W. Bush, right in front of the yeah. FAN helmet. It's a real prime spot, Craig. 
prime spot. Really? Sonny went into your office and couldn't find it. You couldn't find it? <laughs> yeah, so it's in a real prime well, spot. Yeah, it's not on his desk. <laughs> yeah. That's why. You know, Sonny, of course, though, to be fair, was looking for a 90-pound 2 by 4 <laughs> that had an ink cartridge in it because yeah. Evan had a tough time using the pen because it was too heavy. Well, Did I you just find mean, it or no? I didn't see anything. Well, I sent you're not Tommy looking properly. I'll get it next no, I know break. exactly where it no, is no, because Tommy it mocks me every time I go into Do his office. Do we need a couple guys to lift it and carry it in or no? <laughs> I mean, apparently Tommy can't huh. find it either. I don't know what's with these Tommy guys. would have been back by now if he yeah. had it, right? He's you guys no, can't no, find no. it? That's, no. that's I know so well, I know exactly where it is. Because, it, it, like I said, it mocks me every time I walk really? in. Really? It bothers you I see you that pen just sitting there collecting dust. I see you scoring games with this, you know, not to, not anything <laughs> wrong with the good, fine people of Bic, but this <laughs> cheap, cheap pen you get three for 99 cents. Yeah. I went out out of my way to get something made from yeah, Shea but, Stadium. But, but Big Mac... My five-year-old knows better than you because he took a Bic pen, wrapped it in blue and orange kind of tape, yeah. and that was the gift he made me. It was perfect. Was he like basically a, said, yeah. I'm giving you the pen you're already using, but I'm going to make it colorful. Great job, Jet. What was that? Was that like a camp arts and crafts project? Yeah. All right. <laughs> where's So where's that pen? Uh, it's in my scorebook right now, which is in my office. So that's the pen you used today to score 100%. the start of the Mets game? No, I did not score the start of the Mets game. Oh, I thought you did. Why would you think that we're I on the air? Because I thought you were scoring the game. And you think I was sitting here right now scoring the game I, yeah, while I did we're look, doing the show? I thought there was a chance. We call that K-ing it. We, <laughs> we thought that you might K it today. Wait a second. And uh, fill out your scorecard while you working on the air. You can say a lot of things about me. Yeah. And they're all fair, usually. Do you think there was any chance, as much as I love scoring and I love the Mets, Yeah. you think there's any chance I would do that in the midst of a show? I do. I did it one time. Not with you. I did it with Joe. We were at home during the pandemic, and it was opening day for the Mets where no one was there. And the game started at 4. And my rationale was, listen, it's two hours. I'm going to do it. I'll bring up golf. Joe will talk for 10 minutes about some golf event. I'll be able to score it. And once the game, once the show's over, I got, it was the only time I ever did it. Were and you guys on Zoom or just straight, like, microphones? Nah, straight on microphones. God, okay. So you couldn't see each other. No. So he had no idea what you were doing. I don't think he ever knew, no. By the way, Tommy has left and Big Mac has left. Sonny safely made his return. But your office appears to be a bit of a Bermuda Triangle <laughs> because Tommy's been gone six minutes now. The office is five seconds away. Big Mac has now been missing for three and a half minutes. <laughs> Tommy is back without anything in hand. Tommy's got nothing in his hands. Uh, and Big it. Mac does. He does have it. You Thank you. Yourself. Wait a minute. I, that you. was the first thing I saw. So here's you sent me in there for a piece of wood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A piece so, of wood. All right, so now I'm confused. I have what amounts to what looks like a Mont Blanc your fancy pen. It's right. not. Right. And there's a, a wood... Base that has room for like a paper in it, though. Or this something. is going to turn into mocking uh, you guys for the gift. That's I have just a that's <laughs> just the stand. There's all. There's what, also what's the the what's the crevice for? I'm not sure. <laughs> that's, that's the where, stand, like, the and it came. Fit in it. No, yeah, it lays in the. Doesn't it lay in there? No, not really. Well, like it I, doesn't appear that. That's where he. I, honestly, I don't remember if that's what came with it. But oh, every time it. in his office, that's what he lays it oh, on. I'm pretty sure that's it. That I is agree. what came with right, it. That's what came with it. All, also this. with an author, uh, certificate of a authenticity. certificate of authenticity okay. that it came from the bench yeah. made in at Shea Stadium. The pen works great. It's got nice, smooth. Yeah, it's a beautiful rhythm pen. Yeah, but you're not a lefty. Okay, but hold on. You'll see. But I'm gonna call BS on your smirch. Why? Because I've just written, you know, just gobbledygook on a piece of paper. So this thing is fresh. So if I put my left hand on it and move it to the left, it should smirch, or, right? Not necessarily. No, I no, use not, a, not, yes, I use what? a different did you just piece use? of, he said smirch. Not smear. smudge. I think. Smudge. I didn't yeah. say Wait. smirch. I said smudge. Smudge. <laughs> I added the smudge. H to it too. Smudge. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right, I've now written enough. Left hand coming across. No smudge. Have you ever You've done lied. it? No, I haven't. Have you ever that, done a Bob Carpenter scorebook? Bring me a Bob Carpenter no, scorebook no, page. No, you will not write in that hey, book. Hey, Tommy, grab me the Bob Carpenter book real they quick. They will not allow this. Like, because as, as soon as the run. door opens, I will physically Tommy, assault run, that. Run like the wind. <laughs> Evan Hurry is up. running. Go, go, go. He's go, actually running. Go. I've never. That's faster than he ran the first Evan base. Evan and that's Tommy true. are now running down the hallway to Evan's <laughs> office to, for the Bob Carpenter book. That is the fastest he has ever run in his no life. Question. I think Gallo just chased them with a camera. I hope so. <laughs> so here's the problem. Even if Tommy beats him to the office, 
Evan's going to rip the book away from him. Yes, he's going to have to fight out of the But office. here's the deal. What is the Bob Carpenter scorebook special paper? No. No. He's full of it. Dude. He doesn't use the pen. It's he that simple. He doesn't use the pen. There's no smudge. It's no. a no smudge pen. No. Yeah, it's that's very, crazy. I'm not saying it's the nicest pen ever. It didn't cost me $1,000, but it's a it's nice a pen. It's a thoughtful gift. Made from oh Shea God. Stadium. No one. It was Gallo. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, why are you out of breath? Because I... I t- what happened? I had to grab it from him. So Tommy and got then, there first. And then he tried to force a fumble. Tommy got the book. You grabbed the book out of his hands, yes? You're damn right I did. And then, he, and then he tried to... Are you okay? I'm out of breath. Oof, I'm out of shape. That's the fastest you've ever run, by the way. Yeah, no You're doubt. damn right. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you no. open the back of the book? Can you just open the back of it to a page that you're not going to use? I need to catch my breath all the time. Oof. Just Evan. let him write the date in today's page. That's can simple. I just... I'll may do it. I? I'll do it with you. Bring it over here. No, no, no. I hold the book. Come over Fine. here. Fine. You can hold the book here, though. <laughs> all right? Just bring over the, a blank page. Give me the pen. Oh, I will put the book here. I will not touch anything. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to see this smudge. Evan's got the book. No, no, go to a ba- black page, a blank page oh, in the I'm back. I'm going to fill out my book from last night. Okay, go ahead. So Evan just wrote a zero. It's not smudging. Smudge. No, it didn't. A little bit of smudge. There's no smudge at all. You <laughs> liar. never use that pen in that book. <laughs> you are never. a liar. You got caught, kid. And then you didn't even have the courage to tell me yeah. you just don't I use the pen. You made up it. lies. I... You had to knock the level of pen I bought. Listen, you couldn't just say I don't use the pen. Do some water? Have some water. I, I have some water. Okay. I stand by it. I am very particular with my book. You may not feel it's a schmudge. There's a schmudge. Yeah, okay. Now, if, if, if the pen Jet makes, the Met pen smudges, you're still going to use it. Don't tell me that you're very look, particular. Look what Jet did with this Met pen. He took a big pen that I love, wrapped it in orange and blue tape, and said, I love you, Dad. Big Mac, here's what he did, though. Oof. He was cute. As he's writing the zero, he tried to smudge it as as he was yeah, writing it. Like hold it too long yeah, to the right. one spot. Yeah, I, I just draw this gobbledygook here. It's fresh. It's a non-smudge ink. I'll make you a deal. You never use that no, pen. I'm going to make you guys a deal. I don't think you knew you had the pen. Hold on, I did. This I'm base you, is for gazing. I'm going to make you a fair deal. Tonight, I'm going to score the Yankees game. Yeah. With this pen. The entire game. Tomorrow, we'll look at the score. Okay, here's my question. Is that not fair? No, because we don't trust you. (laughs) No, sorry. What am I going to do? Pour water on it? It's my book. I don't want it to smudge. You're going to try to smudge it. No, it's my book. You think I want it to smudge? Let me ask you a question, Big Mac. Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out this uh, pen that was apparently made out of a piece of the dugout. Correct. What part of the pen was made from the dugout? The wood part. There's no wood on it. Yeah, there's like some wood that's gotten glossed over in the midst of the pen. The middle of the pen is all wood, and then he puts lac. Whoever made it put lacquer over it. So it's not the base, yeah. No, no, not the base. This is wood. the pen. No, the pen. Are you gonna break it? Like this is what actual. Are you doing? I did, well, I didn't buy it for the stand, bro. This, you know, this is actual wood. Yes. You did a break. You're not gonna break wood. it. I'm just letting you know. Like it's made this. better than you're pretending it to be made <laughs> out of. It. That's Stop a solid it. piece this of wood. This is a solid wood. Felt on the bottom to avoid any Forget scratches the on the desk. Basically, what they did is they took like a um. Well, they basically took a two by four and they cut out, you know, four inches. Excuse me, of it, excuse me. And they polished Breaking it. Breaking news: Craig did not jinx the Mets as yeah. my mic breaks. <laughs> the New York Mets have completed a seven to three on? victory against the Atlanta Braves. They have won two out of three. A very, very good series victory without Marte. Told you they won. Without McNeil, a uh, two out of three. And by the way, let me give par- uh, credit to my partner. Hold on a second. You're welcome. When this series started. I'm holding my microphone like I'm on stage. When this series started, I put Craig on the spot. I said, what's going to happen? And he made this prediction. He said, the Mets are going to win two out of three, and one of the games will be a blowout. Now, is 7-3 a blowout? Not close, necessarily. Close enough, though. But I am willing to say he was right. Here's what you're starting to realize. This team's for real, baby. Maybe the Mets are a very good team, but beyond that, because you already knew that. You're worried because the Braves are playing so well. Here's the reality, and you're going to come to terms with it at some point, and the audience is too. I know a lot more about sports than you people give me credit for. <laughs> Stop it. And you're going to have to come to terms with that fact, that piece of reality. Every once in a while, I go into the little bag of tricks, and I I give you a little taste. I don't give you too much of it. I give you a little taste. A little taste. 
Little taste. Little taste. 877-337-6666. Some... 